Hello, and welcome to History Network News. I am your host, Alberto Rosado, reporting to you from my home station in Kissimmee, Florida. As America knows, there has been a couple convicted and sentenced to death via electric chair, and have now arrived at Sing Sing in Ossining, New York. These two have been accused of heading a spy ring and passing atomic secrets to the Soviets. Reporting to you live with more information about the couple is the lovely Yvonne Ortega. Well, thank you, Alberto. Now, as America knows, ever since the arrest of Julius and Ethel on 1951, there has been question as to if this whole process was even fair. Considering the brief trial that took place in which the Rosenbergs protested that they were innocent, they were still quickly sentenced in what many believe is one that was done too hastily. Now, what do we know about the Rosenbergs? Well, it doesn't start out well for them. They met as members of the Young Communist League, which already cast shadows on their self-proclaimed innocence. Which strikes me as odd because of their contributions to America, with Julius being an engineer for the U.S. Army Signal Corps, and Ethel, who worked as a secretary. But you have to admit that it puts Julius in the best position to get a hold of these secrets. This whole situation has just been so polarizing to the American people. There definitely isn't a right choice in this case with how split everyone is. Then there's... Wait, wait a minute. There's some commotion going on. Give me a second. I'm getting reports that Julius has been executed at 8 p.m. And what about his wife? There is reports that she actually survived the first electrocution and is being set up for yet another one. Oh my god. Ethel Rosenberg has just been pronounced dead after the second electrocution at 8.16 p.m. in the same chair that her husband died at. Mark your calendars, America. July 19, 1953. This marks the first U.S. citizens to be convicted and executed for espionage during peacetimes, and their case, I feel, will remain controversial for years to come.